Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab a beverage of your choice. Because today, we will be doing an unboxing. This is my last order from uh, in stock trade. I think I've gotten everything that I've ordered from them so far. I haven't ordered anything new, so... This is it, and I, I know what it is, but let's just, whoa, let's uh, get this unboxed. One cool thing about them is, boy, they do not mess around with these boxes. They get them all nice and packed up. All right, so we have the receipt. We have the bubble wrap. Not the best kind for popping, but it does a good job of protecting the material. Okay, we got the stuff, and then we got one more underneath. Let's box away. And let me show you here. We have Checkmate by Brian Michael Bendis. I guess this is their, I thought this was something else, but this takes place after their, uh, their little mini-series that, you know, you know, bad guy that everyone was trying to figure out who it was, and it was just, but, uh, oh yeah, Leviathan. Okay, checkmate. Your move, Leviathan. Uh, Leviathan has agents and acolytes all over the world. What is the secret behind its power? The planet's last best hope to infiltrate Leviathan may be a motley collection of spy masters, Green Arrow, The Question, Talia Agul, and other unlikely allies converge Tackle Leviathan as members of the, the new Checkmate. But who is the surprise hero beneath this team? Big clues to the future of the DC Universe start here. So there's this. I thought this was something else, but hey, I can do what I read. And then... This is what I've been looking for. Superman, The Man of Steel, Volume 3. It's the John Byrne uh, run. I have, I've read one. I got two a while ago. That was only like $28, $29. This thing was only like $14. It was on sale. And so there's only one more left, which I will get at some point. So here is the front side back and it says renowned writer and artist John Burns bold reimagining of Superman is regarded as one of the greatest comics run in history joined by lauded industry talents such as Jerry Ordway Carl Kessel and John Beatty Byrne pitted the last son of Krypton against a variety of strange foes that evoked the nostalgia of many of Superman's early adventures. In these continuing tales, Superman aids a mysterious young woman who holds a dark secret, fights a gargantuan primate across Metropolis, deals with a superhero possessing a supersized ego, and meets one of his most lethal foes yet. The Silver Banshee. Even 
the hamlet of Smallville isn't safe from danger when the intergalactic war between the Manhunters and the Guardians of the Universe comes to town during the Millennium crossover event. Boom. So, we've got that. This is the inside uh, tabs. Let's get this off right here. Sorry, it's uh, uh, this is the, in the covers on the inside. We have this for the uh, there, and we have this for there. Then we have this with the creative team right there. And we have the table of contents. Ending with, uh, if you see right there, 460, who's who. And this is going to be awesome because it starts out with Superman and Bats. Kicks right, in, right inside there with Superman's, John Burns' fantastic art and storytelling all right so that is it uh, i've read number one i haven't read number two yet i'm gonna get to that and i'll get to this these are awesome so have you has anybody read any of uh, john burton's stuff i started to read it when it came out did the man of steel read the first few issues and stuff but then I don't know why I stopped because I love his stuff. But uh, I'm now catching up with everything. All I need to do at some point is get number four, and I will have the whole series of his stuff for Superman, which is going to be awesome. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of John Burns' run. Uh, like, subscribe, and enjoy your Big Blue Boy Scout comic.